Robert, thank you so much for inviting us over to come and check out this unbelievable boat and I've got a lot of questions for you. So we know Roswell is all about weight towers and board racks. You build the best towers in the world for the best companies in the, in the world. And now you've moved into audio, now into salt water. We've got a center console here, all things for Roswell. It just doesn't seem to make sense. So give me a bit of a background behind the ideas behind a center console it's for Roswell. It's confusing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit confusing. Well, first of all, it's good to have you guys. Yeah, Welcome to you. Miami for one of the world's largest boat shows. Yeah. No, um, we're excited to be here, and um, it's exciting for us to take the R1 uh, speaker line and put it in a saltwater application. When we first designed the R1 line, we wanted it to be the most premium, highest quality audio in the industry. So when doing that, one of the big things is the products used in salt applications, whether it be in a pr premium wake boat, like an, um, or it can end up being a runabout or anything, and really getting it into a true offshore brand like Invincible, and yeah. which is considered one of the most premium offshore brands in the industry right now, and getting it offshore testing in a salt application with UV is exactly where we want the product. So we're excited about it. It's a huge launch for us to do it here, and uh, just another segment for the R1 line. So this is a tower speaker you'd normally see sitting on on a nice wakeboard boat. You're trying to say this, this speaker is going to be perfectly durable and have no issues at all sitting getting copping salt water yep. on a center console. Exactly. So all the all the products we're designing right now, we want to be able to go across all platforms. You know, work in any salt application, UV resistance, water resistance, salt resistance. So the the housing itself, the drainage system, the types of products and materials we're using are the highest quality for that. The thing about the R1 um, loudspeaker, the R1 Pro, the award-winning R1 Pro, yeah. is that when you're in one of these offshore boats and you're going 60, 70 miles an hour, 100 miles offshore, it's really loud, there's a lot of wind, a lot of engine noise, and having a loudspeaker up in the hardtop is, is really essential if you want to hear the audio and focus on the ocean. So the speaker before this was the Neptunes and the whole world embraced the Neptunes as being an amazing sounding speaker. What, other than salt water, what are the improvements you've made to the audio quality in the, in the R1 Pro? So the R1 Pro is actually derived from the DNA of the Neptune. So it, it is a very similar um, compression loudspeaker. Um, so it's just an, a step up. We basically improved the materials in the surround um, a little bit a little bit of an improvement on the compression tweeter materials and just taking what we learned with the Neptune and taking it to a new level. So the R1 Pro's acoustic capabilities, you know, I think they're 8 to 10 percent, you know, a little more clarity than the Neptune, even even just a little more handling performance. You got a bit more bass out of these guys as well, or you generally let that leave that to the subwoofers, which you've got some pretty serious puppies up the front. It's going to give you a nice even sound with with the bass. It has to keep up with that and that with that huge tweeter. Yeah, um, so you, yeah, it is. So you do get a, a fairly well-rounded mid sound out of it. I wouldn't say it's a a low level bass frequency, but you do get a nice mid level and it keeps up with the tweeter nicely. So you've got the subwoofers, there's what, six on this boat. So is the aim of the game to get good sound in a boat to give plenty of bass? Do you feel like bass disappears out of a boat? Like it almost seems like you've got more subs and more power in subs than you do with the with the mid-range and high and the, right. the high frequency speed. So our goal all the time is balance. Okay. Um, you know, if you put too many 8-inch speakers in a boat, you're going to have a lot of mids with this little tiny tweeter. And if you want to get the full range of sound, you've got to match the subwoofer, um, you know, those low frequencies with the loudspeakers and, yeah. and really kind of balance the whole system. And in a 37-foot boat, you know, really that first 15 feet in the, in the bow of the boat, it needs its own acoustic performance. Yeah. And it really depends on the size of the boat. But really, every boat to get a full body of sound um, you know, the eights are great, but adding that subwoofer and balancing the system is essential. So you can't, you know, if you do a boat with just two eight-inch speakers or a pair of six and a halfs, you'll never get the true sound. And our team is incredible at taking not only the, the subwoofer, like the new 10 and the new 12, and, you know, really dialing in the, the airspace, you know, the porting, and getting the most out of that so that the bass resonates from the lowest frequencies. So it's not just the sub, but 
Um, you know, the subs themselves can work in an open air application or in a ported box application like in this one. They don't sacrifice sound quality in either in either setting. Yeah, just a little bit different in both. Have you reached the holy grail now? You've got now amazing sounding speakers. I mean, how much better can they actually get? The, the boat sounds incredible, so. Thank you. I mean, we're absolutely excited about the way this turned out. The R1 line is, you know, really performing at the highest level. And, you know, I don't know where we go from here today, but we're always working at it. We yep. want to be the best quality sound in the industry. Well, it's very impressive. It's very exciting. With our involvement in Roswell as well, like we're absolutely pumped to be able to hit the saltwater market in Australia and show that we've now got a, a broad range of speakers that people probably don't even know they've got access to now. So it's very exciting. Very exciting future. Yeah. It's Thank a great line. I think they're going to be happy with it. I think they're going to definitely be happy with it. Yeah. Thanks for having this to us today, and uh, we'll look forward to showing you more on the Roswell Marine Audio side coming in the ne next uh, in the in the near future.